Hey guys, I Horror Movies here, and welcome back. Let's play Final Fantasy IX, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Today, a talking painter wearing a hat, who is now Doctor Tot, or as I call him, Doctor Dot. I switched the T and the D in his name. So, yeah, I, I'm clever. I'm so clever. Ooh, you. So you're a tutor. You'll wait the shopkeeper. Where? Must be upstairs. Don't care. Anyway. A long story summarized by one sentence, and that takes care of it perfectly. Oh, he woke up. You know, deal with the stuff later. Who deal with who deal with our drugs? You go left in the entrance. Okay, that large tower that was locked before. We know where that is. Okay, oh, well, that works for me. See you later, alligator. Man, that's ink. You ran out of ink. You're a talking penguin. I cannot wrap, cannot wrap my head around that. But you know, at least you're not evil like the uh, penguin in Batman. So, is Tootsie? Todd. At you! <laughs> well, hey, I mean, it's a guarantee that you'll get the super soft, so why worry about it? And yeah, I'm sorry, you're stuck babysitting us. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> this toot. <laughs> Baka, you're a moron. I love you. Minus the last part. <laughs> Ted. <laughs> okay, so there was Toot. There's Ted. There's Tootsie. Um, what other teen names are there? There's Tim. There's Tom. Um, there's Terrence. Um, Tracy. Uh, that's a girl's name, but whatever. Um, uh, what else is there? I have no idea. But still, that's, a few, uh, that's some examples right there. And oh my god, oh my, oh my god, god, the door's open. Door's open, Sora. Ooh, what a view, wow. I have a creepy looking moon. Yeah, there's been Harvest Moons like that, bef like that before, actually. Actually, um, kind of recently, um, I think a week ago or so, there was um, a Harvest Moon. Rather ominous. In humble abode. You live in a globe. Oh yeah, she's she has grown up. I mean, her adventure has made her a lot more mature. And of course, it's all he ever does. And now he never shuts up. Oh, okay, that's convenient. And Marcus is like, okay, like sure, fine. Yeah, <laughs> don't mind if I do. Okay, so now what? Bro, I can save my bro, bro. Oh, boohoo. Oh, okay, this is Gaia. Interesting. Well, we already knew that, but still, I mean, to see a natural globe of it's pretty cool. You're not a fool, you're a penguin. There's a difference. Penguins do not equal fools. Jewel and Summoner Tribe. Interesting. What does that mean, I wonder? Frederick Ash theorized that Jewel refers to the pendant passed down to the ruler of Alexandria, as in our pendant that we have. Maybe, maybe not. Ah, hi, you're tiny. I think this actually might be the only time we hear this song the entire game. I think. I'm trying to remember how long ago this this flashback is. My guess is 10 years or so. Ooh, well at least she's happy about one book she has. There we go, Lord Avon. Yep, yep, yep. That seems a little advanced for a girl her age to be reading a play like that. I mean, it seems like really, really in-depth and all that. But I mean, she's smart for her age. I mean, she has a tutor like Dr. Tot, so she's in good hands there. Or fins, I guess. Oh, she's so naive. You're using big words. She doesn't understand them. Use small words like shiny things and sparkly monsters and whatever. Stuff like that. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that would be way too small. That I do, sir. Eight years. Okay, so there we go. 
And did I really just port a sci-fi movie? Did I really just do that? Yeah, I did. Yeah. I think it was like made of Shark vs. Super Gator or whatever. One of those made for sci-fi movies. <sighs> Atrocious, to say the least. And that'd be kind of freaky, wouldn't it? Like looking up at the sky from inside a globe. That'd be that'd be kind of cool on one end, but also kind of freaky. Ah, well, we have another ally, so can you join our party? I mean, you strike me as a mage type character. You probably kick ass. And yeah, her black mage armies are a little ridiculous to say the least. Oh, okay. Well, how can we get there? It's really far away. Oh, that's convenient. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right. Yeah, he has to save blank. Grr, rage, grr. Anyway. Oh, actually, wait. Is there anything else we can do around here? Any items to find? Where'd the chest go? Hmm. Oh, well. Oh, let's go ahead and go up here. Equipped for battle. Um, yeah, we should actually be fully equipped already, shouldn't we? Um, iron sword. Um, steepled hats. Yeah, we're we're okay there. Leather wrist. Um, leather plates. Um, yeah, we're okay there. Our defense. His defense is a little low, but he won't be around for much longer anyway. Spoiler. Down, down we go. To the bottom of the sea. To Garden Rue. Oh, this music just brings back horrible memories of a, of a future area. Ugh, God, I hate that part so much. We'll see that later on in the disc. It's not fun. It's annoying. Yeah. Yeah, this is a, it looks like it's in pretty good shape. Uh, Mr. Bishop, would that be the shopkeeper, I assume? Ah, uh, so that would do it, yeah. Okay. Tunnel connection sequence and call the gardens inside. Oh, okay, we can do that. Sounds pretty easy enough. Okay, now let's go ahead and uh, talk to the Moodle first over here, who I might have a letter for. Yeah, I do actually. I have a letter for you. Oh my god. I'm actually somewhat following the side quest for this, even though I'll probably never see it to its conclusion. A uh, letter saying that he's sad as he's marrying love, yada yada yada. That's, that's pointless. Anything else you have for me? Nope. Okay, now let's go ahead and uh, I th 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 let's go to the left first. I think that's the right way to go. Let's see. Oh, got a chest over here. Four chain plates. Nice. And let's see another chest and a lever. Lever, 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 larva, larva, Pull the lever. Let's. And watch your butt shake. There we go. And then make the way back over here. Yeah, there's new, new enemies around here also. Um, only two of them actually. But this, this, this is a good area to do some level grinding, um, as well as some um, AP and gill farming. Um, there's enemies here called Crawlers. Um, they give, um, I think, 646 gill for two of them in a battle. And then they also um, drop, I think, two or three AP in battle. And they also drop Ethers, which, that's really, really nice there. Oh, uh, okay, that makes sense. What do you mean, don't understand? They go in a circle. A circle. Dumbass. Okay, sure. So we'll just go ahead and uh, jump up there and pull that. That was easy. What was that? All right, later. Ow, that hurt my throat. Remind me to, ne to never do that again. I think sure damn fast. Well, how do they? How do they? Well, I wonder. I'm wondering how they actually managed to get the trolley onto the garden and also how it's cooperating. Like, if if, if it's tame or wild or whatever. Yeah, this plane went your way over here, and you had to get into a random battle first. Okay, well, new enemies anyway, so I'll go and show them off real quick there. Um, crawlers would be nice to show them off first. Um, yeah, these big old worms that can probably eat us in one bite. Yeah, they're not too, too hard, though. We'll just do physical attacks and wipe them out real quick, and we're good to go. Thwack! Oh, I didn't, I didn't kill you. Damn. I still found it hilarious with them. Um, Last episode when I fought the Black Waltz and that Garnet actually killed him with a thwack to the head. That was like the best thing ever. Boom, crawler dead. Yeah, I would not want to fight one of these in person because I mean he's a giant fucking worm that can eat us whole. 
So, I mean, they're braver than I am, that's for sure. Stomach. Um, he just gave Marcus ton. Oh, dear God. I did... I really just... I just said that. This also reminds me of Final Fantasy VI. So, um, you go into the giant... What is it? Like the Earth Eater or whatever that thing's name is. a big old worm there. You go inside him for, to find another dungeon. And where you get Gogo. And Gogo's actually really, really damn good. I like him. I know only for those multi multi party dungeons later on in the game. I would use them quite a bit actually. I would use them with um I think Savin, Celis, and Shadow, along with Gogo. That's a really good party in my opinion. Abilities all around, yay! <laughs> and money. So yeah, so yeah, if you want to do some level grinding down here, by all means do so, but I'll do that I actually probably won't do any of that. I really don't need to. The ability wise, um done with the chain mail already, that was fast. Um bronze helm Finally done with Thea, so we're going back to uh, the Iron Helm to master level up. And then let's see, for Garnet, um, dup -dup 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 -dup. okay, we're good there. Okay. So let's go ahead and hit this uh, feed button right here. That'll stop the uh, Garnet. Reminds you, Scooby Doo, also F E E D do 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 do. Yeah, that's a little jingle that always plays when um, they open a secret passage in Scooby Doo. I still remember that to this day. I've been watching this show forever. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Oh, I think she'll be fine. I mean, she can use white magic. And yeah, she's still a moron, so... <laughs> she'll say stupid things at some points. Really? Yeah, please do. And please don't be such a moron. I must hurry one stream further ahead to pull a lever that I can barely reach. Hmm? Didn't hear anything there. Interesting. That's one big ass bug. Are we there yet? 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 Carrot, carrot, charats. Oh my God, we stopped. Why? What? What's? What's the matter? What's going on? Oh my God, what's that? Find out next time, and let's play Final Fantasy IX. This has been our movie sign off, guys. Have a nice day, and thanks for watching. More horrible cliffhangers. Yes.